The weatherman spoke as Nairobi began experiencing a heavy downpour that began on Sunday night through to Monday morning. Motorists on Sunday night were forced to spend the night on Mombasa Road following the heavy downpour that saw vehicles stall, causing an unprecedented heavy traffic. Longo, Baka Junction, Nashida, Kuba, Sana. Kila suku, kuna jamu, Sana. However, the Kenya Meteorological Service says the city received the lowest amounts of rainfall compared to other parts of the country, even as flash floods were observed on various roads within the city. Isli recorded 9.1 millimeters of rainfall. Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, 2 millimeters of rainfall, while Dagoretti Corner recorded a meager 0.6 millimeters. This compared to Marsabit, which received 60 millimeters of rainfall, with Lamu recording 35.4 millimeters in the last 24 hours. A spot check along Kenyatta Avenue showed vehicles swerving through flooded roads following the heavy downpour, with manholes such as this posing danger to both motorists and pedestrians. Assistant Director of Meteorological Services Ayub Shaka says the long rain season has reached its peak, noting that Kenyans should expect heavy rainfall that will last until the end of the week. Shaka is also warning of storm surges, flash floods and floods along the coastal strip in the counties of Kwale, Mombasa, Kilifi, Tana River and Lamu as the rainfall increases in intensity. According to the weatherman, South Rift counties of Narok, Kajiado, Bomet and the western Kenya counties of Kisi and Nyamira are set to be in the eye of the storm on Wednesday and Thursday. Shaka is now asking members of the public to exercise caution in order to avoid and prevent casualties. In Migori County, 15 families were left homeless after being displaced by floods. The families from Kwa Ward within Migori County are now living in makeshift dwellings. Tunalala inje, hakuna mali, tunalala na watoto, ata chakula hakuna. Shida, tunashida chakula, malaria, tunashida magonjwa, kuku inaenda vifaranga, mbuzi, kila kitu inaenda mpaka paka, ata umbu haezi ekaka. Judith Akolo, Channel 1 News Hour.